All right, hello everyone. This is Reverend Kyle yet again with another video tutorial for you. Uh, this one <clears throat> is uh, actually uh, the second part of uh, how to flash your phone back to its original uh, stock ROM. Uh, this is uh, all being done with the Milestone XT720, which happens to be the phone that I have, so that's the video tutorial you get. Uh, if uh, you haven't watched the first video on how to obtain these three files, uh, the Motorola drivers, RSD, and the actual SBF, I encourage you to go watch that first or this one will not make any sense. Uh, first part here is uh, you'll see I already have my phone in uh, bootloader mode. Uh, again, this is a secret that I shared with uh, the previous video. So uh, if your phone is not a milestone xt720 you may or may not get some benefit from this video however keep in mind i do not know how to get your phone into bootloader mode and i don't know where your spf files are so uh, <clears throat> do that at your own discretion and good luck uh so right now you'll see that it says uh, data cable here and uh it's not plugged into anything it's just sitting here in bootloader mode i'm going to start up rsd light on the computer Okay, so now that RSD light is started up on the computer, I'm going to plug in the USB cord into the phone. And you'll notice that it changed from data cable to uh, USB. And RSD light has now identified that the phone has been connected. So from here, I'm going to select my SBF file. and there's the information for the SBF file and I'm gonna hit start and off it runs to the races uh, it is creating image file uh, executing in progress it shows that it's on USB the phone itself is now flashing all sorts of fun things such as uh, in progress now at this point I guess it's safe to assume that uh, you all understand you don't want to interrupt this process if you interrupt this process you may break your phone now, for the sake of uh, time restraints, I am not going to show you this entire process. I'm going to speed this part of the video up. Okay, so at this point, the phone is being rebooted. Uh, my phone turned itself off, and uh, RSD is showing that the phone is being rebooted, and uh, this is a good sign. This means that the actual flash went through successfully. You will notice the progress. Uh, the first boot is going to take a little while. Uh, at this point, it's going through, and... Uh, setting everything up fresh. Uh, this would be, at this point, uh, exactly the same as if you were turning the phone on for the first time out of the box. Uh, th this is what you've created here, is uh, a stock situation for your phone. Okay, so again, for the sake of uh, time, I have sped up this boot process. Uh, this, this process does take uh, a little bit of time here, and uh, it's something that you want to be patient with. Uh, as it stands right now, it is uh, doing its first boot after we've flashed it. Uh, it's saying that it is, uh, it's telling you to please manually power up the phone. However, it is already manually powered up. And uh, guess what? Uh, here we go. We have it. And the phone is now back to its original form. Uh, since I bell stock ROM, there we have it. And uh, at this point, uh, it's just going through the standard beginning sequence. And uh, at this point, once you see the menu and that it's up and running, uh, you can unplug your phone. You can just unplug the phone from your USB cable and then you can close 
the RSD and at this point you are done. Now from here uh, you can watch any of my other videos to determine how to flash it back to something else. Um, so hopefully you're able to follow these instructions. Uh, they are very simple instructions uh, as long as you watch the videos in order. So uh, this has been uh, Reverend Kyle and uh, now I have taught you how to uh, flash your phone back to its stock ROM.